and the 1-0 delivery. Chops it on the right side. On the outfield grass, Vina, nice play. Well, there's a good effort by Fernando Vina. That ball looked like it was ticketed for right field. Rounders, it could easily be two. And the infield poised to get two. Bounding ball toward the middle. Hernandez had to wait for it. Now the throw to Grace in time. Six, four, double play, and the inning is over. Here's the strike one pitch up the middle. Pass Vina, base hit, two run score, and the Cubs lead 2 0. Mickey Morandini now career high, 50 runs batted in. This will get at least a run in and maybe more. Lance Johnson on the run, can't come up with it. One run scores, here come two more. All the way to third base with a triple, Dave Nielsen and the Brewers have a three to two lead. Terry Mulholland to the starting rotation. Down the line, fair ball. That will score Nielsen, Cirillo on his way to second base. Glenn Allen Hill up with it in left. And the Brewers continue to bang away at the Cubs. RBI number 63. 2-1 delivery. Fly ball deep to center field, and it is gone. Jeremy Burnett's a two-run homer. It is 6-2, Milwaukee. Well, they keep pitching to Burnett's with first base open and a right-hander on deck. They did it yesterday, cost him a three-run homer. Morgan does it here today, cost him a two-run homer. And the Brewers have hit for the cycle here in the third inning. To the uh, center field bleachers. Back to the mound over the head of Morgan. Jose Hernandez, top play, they got him. Grissom, a speedy runner down the first baseline. Retired on a nifty play by Jose Hernandez. Two men down. Uh, already yesterday. <laughs> Here's a fly ball center field. Lance Johnson on his horse, and this one carries to the center field bleachers. It's gone. Jeff Jenkins, his ninth home run of the season. And Mike Morgan has been tattooed here in the third by the Brewers. Ninth home run, a 28th driven in. Wind is blowing out, but nothing like yesterday. Here's another one. Prodigious. Will it make Waveland Avenue? It does. Jeff Jenkins started the inning with a single. He adds a home run, and the Brewers continue their assault. Eight runs in the third. I would think that would be about it for Mr. Morgan. Here it is. Popped him up. Left side of the infield, Hernandez calling off Gaetti. And Jose makes the catch. The inning is over. The Brewers threaten with a couple of hits. They leave a pair. Could be two. Short hop to Loretta. Vigna plays the first for the double play. Well, Taylor there's, May. There's nothing Gary Gaetti can do, so it's going to be an out for sure at second because he's got to wait. To add insult to injury. Two-run homer by Burnett. And here's a shot into center field in front of Lance Johnson. They're going to wave the runner in and coming around to score. Jeff Jenkins and uh, the Milwaukee Brewers. Jenkins and Hughes score two runs in, and they add to the advantage. It's now a 10 to 2 ball game. 28 wins at home here this year. On the ground, right side, Nielsen to short for one, back to first, and the double play. Well, that's hard to believe that you could turn two on a little tapper to the right side, but they turn a 3 6 1. And I think they believe that he can catch every day next year, and there's probably a home run. To left center field, number 22 for Jose Hernandez. So something on this beautiful afternoon for the home fans to applaud. Jose Hernandez, a rocket into the left field bleachers. 22 and 72 for Jose, and it has been a banner year offensively. 60 home runs. Line drive, left field coming on for Jenkins, a diving stab to end the inning. Sosa got a three-run pitch, hit a rope to left field, but Jenkins able to haul it in. It was quiet down the right field line. Gaetti puts a charge into this one, deep to right field, and it is gone! Gary Gaetti, two-run homer, his 17th of the season, and his sixth with the Cubs. 
Well, I believe that that will start someone up in the pen. The Cubs long from dead in this one. There's still a long way to go. When your team puts 10 up on the board, it's okay. Past Grace down the right field line. Turning second, heading to third, Jenkins. And they're going to hold him up there into second base. Bob Hamlin with a stand-up double, and Jenkins now coming to score. Boy, bad play by Sammy. He just picked up the ball, and instead of throwing it in, he had held him up at third base. All Sammy had to do was pick up the ball and throw it home. Here's the one-two pitch. Base hit right field. Belliard being waved in. Here comes the throw from Sosa, cut off by Grace. Play at second base, and they've got the hitter in a rundown, and Vina's tagged out for the run scores. So the Brewers add two more to their total here in the seventh inning. Deep to left field. Gone! Number 60, Sammy Sosa. That is great! Across the street, they're going after it. Sammy Sosa joining McGuire. Maris. As the only hitters ever to get 60 home runs or more in a season. That was so exciting. Way back in left. Goodbye. Glenn Allen Hill to wave Lynn Avenue. This team die, and Valerio De Los Santos has gotten shell shocked here in the seventh inning. Well, I'll tell you, our camera guy risked his life too. Tyler Houston, way back to way like the Sheffield Avenue. Tyler Houston with a solo home run off Chad Fox, and things have tightened considerably. It's 12 to 10, Milwaukee. This offense just keeps coming and coming. And Tyler Houston has hit his eighth home run, his 30th driven in, and the Cubs trail by just two. Watch it again as Tyler Houston looks for a first ball fastball, gets it up and out over the plate, and crushes it. Runner go. Wave and a miss, strike three. The shooter does his job, strikes out Hughes to end the inning. No runs, a base hit, no errors. The Brewers leave a man. To the right side, past Mina. Sosa scores. Here comes Hill. The ball game is tied. More needing a third. Fly ball deep to right. It is gone. It is gone. The Cubs have won. 